question I have for you is, how do you know that you're ready to stop eating and drinking? I really don't. But when I put myself in a frame of mind that thinks, what if I don't, then I think, Oh, of course I have to do that, because I think what my options are for the future, and I don't like them. Uh -huh. But right now, of course, life is wonderful. <laughs> I have all these lovely people flocking around me. How can I object to that? Yeah. Can you say a little bit about what making this decision has been like for your relationships with people? Yes, it has been just so lovely. You know, you have close contacts with a, a number of people, some that I haven't seen for a very long time, or quite a long time. And so I couldn't ask for better. You know, I've had wonderful, warm conversations for both of us remember back to what it was like, what we were doing when we were working together in some way. Mm -hmm. And the kind of warmth that comes out at this time, of course, is very different than any other kind of warmth. Mm -hmm. Have any thoughts so, about, you know, in the hospice meeting, they were talking about some people not approving of what you're doing. Do you have any thoughts about that? Um, what do you, does that bother you? I'm trying to remember who even said that. Well, they were talking more, not about anybody in the room. Oh. They feel it's your right to do what you want to do. Uh -huh. But that there are people in society who would think what you're doing yeah. is wrong. Well, I've been aware of that all along. Yeah. Yeah. So you just ignore that part? Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't say I ignore it because um, I would like to talk to them. Yeah. Of course, they are rarely people you can talk to. Yeah. But so many of the people who have been face to face with me are saying how much they have changed in the process of watching this. Mm -hmm. it, one thing I think people might wonder is if um, is there anything you're afraid about? Oh, no. Nothing? Mm -mm. Well, maybe a little bit about how I'm going to feel when I'm thirsty. Yeah. Right. Because I'm thirsty right now. And yeah. I don't exactly like it. I can alleviate it to some very step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anything else you want to say? Well, I just wonder if I've expressed as accurately as I might what wonderful things have happened. Why don't you tell us? But, so, you, so tell me about the ice cream social. So these were all, or mostly, not all, people that I had worked closely with ten years ago, five years ago, but I haven't I had much contact with them recently. I still remember them, remember what we did together. Those are happy memories mm -hmm. because they were positive. Mm -hmm. But my closest friends who brought me meals, who came over to visit, who have filled my room with flowers, yeah. and I haven't done anything to say thank you for them except to thank you when they leave at the end of the day, and that's not much. You know, a real invitation is a little mm -hmm. more special. I mean, so have you found that you know people maybe want to say things to you? Do you also want to say things to them about what oh, they? Yes. So have you been doing that? Yeah, I hope. Yeah. You know, I get a little tongue tied. Yeah. <laughs> I've never noticed you to get tongue tied. <laughs> I think my children would say the same. And a lot of friends. Yeah. yeah. You've become part of the family. Oh. My daughters call you their other sister. <laughs> well, I like your family a lot.
<laughs> well, clearly it's mutual. <laughs>